Welcome back. In this video, we will talk about sync.pull. Sync.pull, as, as name says, pool is responsible for holding instances of object. So what is the use case of pool? Example like database connection, a reference to the network or a memory operation. Creation of the instance for this object is not a memory efficient. So we what we can do, we can create an instance and maintain a pool. Utilize the reference from the pool whenever it is needed. Otherwise, we can return the instance back to the pool. So let's go ahead and see how to implement the pool in this in this code what we are doing we have a log method which is which is creating the buff, byte buffer variable b and then we are printing the value whatever we are passing as a string from the main method that is buffer string let's go ahead and let's go ahead and run the program so we are appending the date and time and then we are printing the string so in this case what if i am calling this log function from more than uh, inside the application from more than 50 places then byte dot buffer instances will not be released correctly in those cases memory leak problem can be a problem so how to avoid that it can be avoided using the sync.pull so let's go ahead and implement the sync.pull so first we will implement we will create a variable buffer pool of sync.pull So if let's say we do not have a new instance or existing all the instances are already been occupied. In that case, we can implement the new method and we will implement the anonymous function which returns interface. So it returns it returns new of bytes buffer so we have created new method and it returns interface type of value and new method returns the instance of byte dot buffer now instead of this we can say b is equal to colon equals to buffer pool dot get so it will return the new instance of buffer pool and we have to do type cast pointer to the byte dot buffer <coughs> then we will reset the existing buffer value once the work is done we will put it back to the pool So let's go ahead and add some print message before we return anything. So that we know how many times new function has been called. Since we are calling this method log here twice let's go ahead and add one more 
so what we have done so far we have created the buffer pool variable of pool type and we have we are calling the new we have implemented the new method function and it uh, anonymous function and it returns the interface value and the return value is new of buffer dot byte so we have removed this existing and then once and then we are creating the variable b of buffer buffer pool and then we are calling buffer pool and then uh, we are calling the get method on to get the instance or the existing value from the buffer and we are doing the type casting we are getting the pointer reference and then we are resetting the existing value once the operation is done we are returning back the buffer pool object and then we are calling log method inside the main program let's go ahead and run the program so as you can see the new buffer is been created only once thank you we'll connect into the next video